Hi, my name is April. Today I'm going to show you how to send out a bulk email message using a template with custom content. The first thing you're going to do is open up your Excel sheet. You can get this by exporting from your CRM, or you can use a spreadsheet where you've added in the contact information, email address, and any of the details that you would like to show. Now you're going to actually start this message in a Word document. Open up your Word document. On top, you will see the header that says mailings. Select that. And we are going to start a mail merge. Because we have already created our Excel sheet that shows all of the details that we need, we're going to actually select email messages. Now we need to link that Excel sheet to this document so it pulls all the correct information. We are going to select the recipients to link the page. We're going to use an existing list because we have created one or you have exported one. I have saved my Excel sheet to the desktop, so I'm going to select that and you'll see it right here. And just open that up. It's going to ask us if this is the table we'd like to use. It is. Now, though it looks like nothing has changed, the Word document and the Excel are linked. So we're going to start off our message, hello, and now we need to use the contact name. Instead of just typing in whoever name, we're going to use the field here, insert merge field. These are the same headers that you are going to see on the Excel sheet. So contact your hosting plan. Let's find out what plan that is. Plan. Has successfully been created. The cost for this will be find the cost, same method. annually. And we can end it there. Thank you, April. So this is going to be the template that we are going to be sending to all of our clients. This content though will change depending on who it pulled, where it pulls the information from. So if we go to our Excel, the first line will be Adam. I've just put the email address in mind for all of them. Site starter and the cost, but we want to make sure that this is different for each of these line items. You can Review this to make sure that it is pulling what you want it to look like. We can do this just by previewing results. And it looks like we actually do need to create a space between these two words because clearly that is a little bit messy. We can end the review and we want to make a little bit of a change here. Cursor, put a space there, preview again. That looks much cleaner. And you'll see that this pulls from every line. So this is our first person. And now the information will change. And we have six lines and we can see every line is pulling the correct information. Now we want to send this email out. We are going to close the preview. And at the end here, you're going to see finish and merge. I'm going to press that button. And we want to send this in an email message. It's going to use the Outlook that's open on your account currently. We're going to send this to email. You can see that this is still linked to that Excel page. So it's going to pull from any of your lists. And we do have the email listed in our Excel form. Subject line, let's call this hosting plan. You can select individual numbers if you'd like. If you want to send the whole record, you can do so at once. But if you only want to send Alexis in April a message, you can select just three and four in this section right here and it will only select those lines. In this case, let's just send everybody this message, hit okay. You'll see it kind of ran through that really quickly as it flashed on that page and just takes a moment. Everybody will get their message. If you go to your sent files, you will see that you have sent out all of these messages. Each one has been individual based on the information on your spreadsheet. And that's how you send a mail merge. You can make these a little bit more complex and add attachments maybe make the content a bit longer. There's no limit to the number of cells that you can include in here. So you can make a long paragraph that has plenty of 
customized content and still put it into a template. This can save you plenty of time if you need to send out a lot of messages to a lot of contacts.